hello guys in this video i will show you how to add ticket selling to your wordpress website so for example you have a wordpress website and you want to sell tickets of your online classes your events or any special invitation then you can do it easily with a free plugin now there are many plugins out there which do the same thing that i am doing in this video but trust me the one i am showing you in this video is very powerful and the reason i am suggesting this plugin is first of all it is free and it works parallel with WooCommerce so you don't need any special plugins to run this and it also allows you to print your QR code and it also have a mobile app through which you can scan this QR code and can directly pay for the ticket and the last but not the least it provides you different templates that how your tickets will look on your website so let me show you a very quick demo of all of these so that you can decide which one suits you So this is the website to which I will add ticket ceilings and that is how it will look as I have added a ticket and this is the ticket name this is the location and date and time this is the price and you can book it here now if you have multiple events now if you have multiple tickets then you can sort it by popularity alphabetically etc also you can search for different tickets to search here you can choose a location you can filter it by date and then search it so let's see how we can add this to our wordpress website for free and to add this just go to your wordpress dashboard go to plugins and add new and now search for my tickets events and this is the plugin by Kinzop. So we will install and use this one. Just install and activate this plugin. Once you activate the plugin, you don't need any special settings for this. Just go to your products. And as I said earlier, that it works parallel with WooCommerce. So you will add it like a new product, and that is how it works. So we will add a new product. So here will be the ticket name and in the description write a little description and now scroll down and you will find option for that but it is missing here so let me check what is the problem okay so you may notice that I am using wordpress.com not wordpress.org and for that i believe that we need cmb2 plugin with astra theme to run it smoothly so let's install this and check this if it works okay plugin installed successfully so let's check this Now let's activate this plugin. Now let's try again. So go to products, add new. And now as you can see we have 
the ticket options here so i could have cut this part from the video first but just to show you that in wordpress.com if you are using astra theme you will need their plugin to run it smoothly hope this will help you now let's continue adding our ticket so i'll write And now here you can choose the events dates so when the events begin so just pick any random date and now choose time for the events so let's 12 am now is the end of the event so we will end it again with it and the time will be 5 pm for example now here you can provide location so you can write any location here and it will show there and now location address so i'll write just for example location coordinates so you will write your coordinates from your google map like in this format so we will leave this for now and now the custom link so if you want to give your event a custom link that it will link to your external website your facebook page or any other social media then you can write that link here and if you leave this blank then it will act like a woocommerce product and that is what uh, we want here so we will leave this empty now here you can choose pricing for your event and sell your tickets so i'll write five for now and the rest of the setting is just like a normal WooCommerce product so if you don't know about it then you can search for that in youtube okay now let's publish this so product published uh, which means that we successfully had our first ticket now to make it visible on your website there are two ways one is to go to your pages and here add a new page and give it a title so i'll write tickets and here just click the plus icon and now search for my tickets so you will see these so you will see all the layouts here now as i shown you earlier in this video you can choose any of these so i'll choose the first one and here you can see the preview that how it look now let's publish this and view the page now as you can see we have our ticket here price is pipe and ticket name location start and date and time now if you have many events then you can sort it by alphabetically popularity etc you can search for different events and all that and that is how it works now if you are using elementor page builder then you can put it like a short code in elementor so let me show you how we can add it in elementor pages so let's say this page is empty we will delete this and let's update the page and edit it with elementor now here make a new section now to add your tickets search for products drag and drop this and now choose the category of the product i forgot to assign any category to these tickets so you will have to create a category in your products and give it a name then you can choose that category here and it will display all your tickets so that is how you can add ticket selling to your WordPress website. Hope this video will help you. If you have any question in mind then feel free to ask in the comment section.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.